Okay, we get to use our pack out system for the first time. We're gonna use this cart because this has all of our gloves and glasses and masks and earplugs, which we're definitely gonna need because we're gonna be spraying stucco. Also, got a few extra things we wanna throw in here. And then we have all of our air compressor stuff, plug that's gonna go in that sprayer, any other extra pieces to clean out stuff. So I am just gonna throw this on here. Is that all we need? Stuck with them. Are you ready? Welcome back. Safety third. Day 177. Okay, today we are all PPE'd. Excuse me? Is that it? Is that the abbreviation? I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, guys, we are all protected and we are ready to start stuccoing again. Now, we're going to not do the sprayer quite yet because we need to do some detail work around these openings here. Well, we're gonna do one opening, like we're just gonna go down the row. So we're gonna start where we left off last time, yep. do the handwork around the opening, yep. and then we'll get the sprayer out, do the top and the other side. The and, bottom and yeah. yeah, it's gonna be slow going. I'm in no rush. Yeah. So let's just take it easy and see how much we can get done. It's just about 40 degrees. So we're dressed like it's the winter. No, we're not. We're just protected. Just All protected. Right. Let's get started. Someday we'll make it on by. Other days we only can try. Either way, no matter what people say. Either way, we go get I believe in the past I believe what you can truly decide You can bring the past All you need is a focus And a story to hold And the faith that you can achieve What's inside your soul Someday we'll make it on high Other days we only can try Either way, no matter what people say can make it all the time because they will try to take it keep it close because they will try to shake it but whatever you do don't let them break it this moment's just a new chance to take into your own hands and shape the life you see inside your dreams Yeah. All that you want, all that you 
we gotta take just a quick minute because so many people are asking about the shoes that we wear. So let me show you what they are. We've been wearing barefoot shoes for a long time and limbs are by far our favorite. Jonathan and I are both on our second pair of limbs. They hold up really well. We just wear them all the time. And these leather boulder boots are by far our favorite. So it's actually really hard to find barefoot work boots and these, I'm so glad that we found them. Lim sent these in a pair for Adelaide for her and I to try out and I think that I've been ordering the wrong size of shoe for 30 something years. I went up a half size and these are so incredibly comfortable. There was no time to break them in. They were comfortable from the time I put them on. And these have been my go-to shoes since we got them. If you're like me and like barefoot shoes and want some good work boots, I highly recommend you go with limbs, check them out and you will not be disappointed. But you know what? They don't just have work boots. They also have tennis shoes. Jet, these are Jets and he's been wearing them for, I think he's had them almost six months. Loves them and I don't think he'll ever go back to another tennis shoe after these. These are Adelaide's, her work shoes. Loves them, comfortable, stylish. What more can you ask for? So if you're in the market for a barefoot work boot, highly recommend limbs. Go check them out, you will not be disappointed. How's it going so far? Mm, it's going. Yeah? Yeah. I hate not knowing if this is actually going to work or not. I think it will. It's so sticky. I know, but like, we thought the other stuff was sticky and... Oh, uh, this is like a whole other level of sticky. We'll see. So, we have to do the parts around the edges by hand, and then we'll come back and we'll spray. And then we have to clean up all the frames. Yeah. Why'd we put so many openings? Well, it would have been a lot easier if our openings extended past the bags. This oh, would be yeah. like a million times easier. Yep. So for the house, we'll make sure our frames always extend the bags.
Can of compressed air, it'll do the it'll freeze. Do we have compressed air? Can we do it? No. <laughs> I want to touch it. Me too. Dad, can we touch it? Oh, that's cold. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's like ice. Wow. That is made from air. Does that mean it's it air ice? Eat don't, it. No. <laughs> it's not natural ice. <laughs> but it's still cool. Stucco is done for the day. Yep. We worked three hours, did six bags, mm -hmm. two openings, front and back side. Yeah, that's a pretty good amount. I mean, it's not the fastest, but it's better than put it on with just trowel by hand, I feel like. Okay. Okay. Well, what's next after this? Well, you know, there's probably going to be more stucco uh -huh. and more stucco and more stucco. Yeah. Yeah. But we are going to be jumping back and forth between this project and other things that we got to get done on the homestead before we begin our house build. Yeah. There's just a lot of odd jobs that have to get done in the very near future. Clean up and yeah, yeah. just weird things, you know? Yeah. When you're on homestead, there's just stuff to take care of. We'll probably not be doing this every day. <laughs> It's just gonna, we're gonna be jumping around. So just bear with us. We'll get it done eventually. Eventually. We'll get there. Yeah. yeah. Ready? All right. That's all for today. We will see you next time.